Hey, it's Andrew Brown, and in this fall along, we're just going to take a look at Repo Insights. So what I want to do is go to a popular repository like Ruby on Rails that has a lot of activity and take a look at what their insights look like. So the first is Pulse, and you really need to know Pulse because, again, on the exam, they might ask you about this one in particular. Uh, if you notice here, we can change the scope. So we can say one month, 24 days. Um, this one's going to show us here... Um, uh, open versus closed, I believe. So we have open and closed pull requests and open and closed issues, red being closed. I'm going to assume purple is closed and green is open. Now we have some summaries, merge pull requests, open pull requests, closed issues, new issues. These here are all listed down below. So if you click on this, it's going to just jump to that location. Okay. So that's how you know what's all down here. These four things are listed down below. The nice thing here is this summary. So uh, excluding merges, 75 authors have published 240, 247 commits and 388 commits, et cetera, et cetera. So that's kind of like a thing you can put in a PowerPoint. Then these are your top contributors. So the person that was uh, doing all the work here is Jonathan Hefner. So good job, John. Uh, keep up the great work. Um, let's move on. So we have contributors. These are people that are contributing code. And so it shows kind of a histograph of, or ticker ticker tape or whatever you want to call it, of the amount of commits that they are committing. So we have a good idea there. And this is for everybody across the top. So in 2014, you can see a lot of stuff was happening. Probably a major refactor was occurring and that's probably why that's so huge there. Um, probably again, other peaks where you're seeing very large things is they're preparing for new versions of Ruby on Rails. We'll go over to community standards, checklist, cool. We'll go to commits, um, shows us that there was a lot of activity this year in December. So in December, I mean, this we're in January right now at the time of this video, but in December, you can see they did a lot of work for Christmas and then back here. In February, they did a lot of work for some reason. You can see Monday seems to be the busy day, but I'm not sure. Oh, you click to find out. Okay. Before I didn't know, like, if this is over time, but I guess it's like you click it and then it shows you. Okay. Code frequency won't show us here. Okay. Dependency graph, uh, things that it's dependent on. Makes sense. Network, this will take a little bit of time because this has at least 100 forks. We'll give it a moment. But I'm telling you, this thing is super powerful and I've used it since the day it's existed and it's been around for a very long time. Um, but when you're working on open source projects and you're having issues, you can bet your buttons that somebody else has already fixed it and you can just go look at their commits and figure that stuff out. So yeah, we'll let that keep loading. And while that's loading, we'll open a new tab and we'll take a look at forks. So here's all our forks. Okay, we can sort based on stuff. Uh, and hopefully the exam won't ask you about what you can filter by. They do, they do that for issues for some weird reason, but uh, come back here. And so we can see this is Rails, right? And so if we go over here, we can see, oh, this person's doing something. Make the, this relation model delegation stricter. They have a work in progress here. We go down here, add a readme, something in another language, update screenshot and getting started with Rails. But sometimes, yeah, fix style code. Sometimes people find like bugs and before they even get fixed, they'll be in someone else's fork. And so you can grab them and just keep working. But uh, yeah, that is um, insights. We can take a look and see if we get any insights in our teeny tiny repos. We'll go to this one here and we get insights. And so we already have some stuff here. We can see a few different Andrew Browns. Notice here that shows exam pro dev. The reason why is that you can have, um, uh, you can like, if I'm on my computer, my computer, which is here, uh, it can have a different Git email and name set. So even though it is from this account, which it was, it can show a different person was contributing. So just be aware of that. But anyway, yeah, that is Repo Insights. See you in the next one. Ciao.